Some Applications of Trigonometry Trigonometry was invented because its need arose in astronomy. Since then, the astronomers have used it, for instance, to calculate distances from the Earth to the planets and stars. Trigonometry is also used in geography and in navigation. Heights and Distances In this figure, the line AC drawn from the eye of the student to the top of the minar is called the line of sight. The student is looking at the top of the minar. The angle BAC, so formed by the line of sight with the horizontal, is called the angle of elevation of the top of the minar from the eye of the student. Thus, the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer. The angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level. That is the case when we raise our head to look at the object. Now consider the situation given in figure 8.2. The girl sitting on the balcony is looking down at a flower pot placed on a stair of the temple. In this case, the line of sight is below the horizontal level. The angle so formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is called the angle of depression. Thus, the angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point is below the horizontal level. That is, the case when we lower our head to look at the point being viewed are the angles of elevation or angles of depression. If you want to find the height CD of the minar without actually measuring it, what information do you need? You would need to know the following. The distance DE at which the student is standing from the foot of the minar. The angle of elevation, angle BAC of the top of the minar. The height AE of the student. Assuming that the above three conditions are known, how can we determine the height of the minar? In the figure, CD is equal to CB plus BD. Here, BD is equal to AE, which is the height of the student. To find BC, we will use trigonometric ratios of angle BAC or angle A. In triangle ABC, the side BC is the opposite side in relation to the known angle A. Now, which of the trigonometric ratios can we use? Which one of them has the two values that we have and the one we need to determine? Our search narrows down to using either tan A or cut A as these ratios involve AB and BC. Therefore, tan A is equal to BC divided by AB or Cot A is equal to AB divided by BC, which on solving would give us BC. By adding AE to BC, you will get the height of the manar. Example 1. A tower stands vertically on the ground. From a point on the ground, which is 15 meters away from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. Solution. First, let us draw a simple diagram to represent the problem. Here, AB represents the tower. CB is the distance of the point from the tower and angle ACB is the angle of elevation. We need to determine the height of the tower, that is AB. Also, ACB is a triangle, right angled at B. To solve the problem, we choose the trigonometric ratio tan 60 degree as the ratio involves AB and BC. Example 2. From a point on a bridge across a river, the angles of depression of the banks on opposite sides of the river are 30 degree and 45 degree, respectively. If the bridge is at a height of 3 meters from the banks, find the width of the river. Solution A and B represent points on the bank on opposite sides of the river so that AB is the width of the river, P is a point on the bridge at a height of 3 meter, that is DP is equal to 3 meter. We are interested to determine the width of the river, which is the length of side AB of the triangle APB. Now, 
AB is equal to AD plus DB. In right angle triangle APD, angle A is equal to 30 degree. 